you're going to need to You need to unmute yourself. Unmute, unmute. There you go. Don't worry. <laughs> Namaste. Welcome to Mobile Libraries, um, a new program called What's in the Artist Library. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to uh, tell some how, uh, the structure of how we're going to start the program. So the first half, we're going to have conversation with Sangeeta Thapa and Biba Karji. And in the second half, we're going to have conversation with the audience. We can take your questions uh, and we, you can also uh, type your questions in your chat box, but we expect you to turn off your mic during the conversation so that uh, we don't have any disturbances. Uh, but please feel free to write your comments in the chat box. And we'll try to address your questions as much as possible in the second half. Mm -hmm. um, so Mobile Library is a collaboration between Asia Art Archive and Siddhartha Art Foundation. And we're bringing books and reading materials um, specifically about Asian art. Um, and this has been made possible with the generous support um, of Foundation for Art Initiative. So my name is Mahima Singh again, and I'm program coordinator together with Pooja Paudel too. She's also a program coordinator and we both are working together. Um, so, in this wave of pandemic, the art community has experienced great loss and we'd like to acknowledge this. Um, it was only last week that we lost um, um, two jewelries of Nepali art scene, Mr. Rajkumar Shakke, the master of Ripoj art, um, a monumental sculptor, and Mr. Ekaram Singh, a dedicated artist, archeologist, and socio-anthropologist. And just a few days ago, we lost Elisha Thapa, an art student from KU. So uh, within all this surrounding, we're still trying to um, come up with these ideas and at least sharing. Um, so at the same time, we also like to honor those who are continuing to do what they do amidst and perhaps despite everything so unlocking libraries has been something that we really wanted to do and um, focusing on the collections of books that are in the boxes after earthquake or inside the shelves that are far from the public reach. So we'd like to take this opportunity to unlock them. And what's in the library is a new series of conversation that um, take the home as a site of different artists and art practitioners and unlock their libraries. And we open this platform to anyone who's interested to unlock their favorite artists library and become a moderator for this program. So that means anyone can come and become the moderator in our next session. Uh, and each session we invite the artist and they will share their uh, reading materials that have been influential to them. Today, our first session titled Continuing Bangdale's Legacy is going to be moderated by Sangeeta Thapa, director at Siddhartha Arts Foundation in conversation with Dr. Bibakar Shakya, discussing the personal library of late Dina Bangdel, art historian and educator, and Sir Lansing Bangdel. They both have been contribute, have contributed immensely to the Nepali art scene. So now I'd like to hand over to Ms. Sangeeta Thapa and continue your conversation with Dr. Divakar Shakyuzi. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Mahima. Good afternoon, Vibakarji. Good afternoon, everybody who's on this Zoom. Um, Vivakaji, it's an honor to have you here with us today for our mobile library talk program. Some time back, you had shared with me that you are planning to accomplish several art and literature related projects. 
to honor your father-in-law, late Lane Singh Bangdelji, the artist, writer, and scholar. And of course, your beloved wife, Dr. Dina Bangdel, respected art historian, scholar, writer, and teacher. You have a monumental task ahead of you, given what both of them have accomplished during their highly successful and celebrated lives. The work that you are undertaking will be important for your sons, Neil and Devon, as they learn and understand the legacies left behind by their mother and grandfather, but also for the new generation of Nepalis living here and abroad and for the scholars of Nepali art. Before we started this program, you know, I went downstairs to look at our own library and I found some books by Lansing Bangdelji that we have in our own collection. I, I too have inherited a collection from my father-in-law. So this was a book that Bangdelji had presented him. Uh, Muluk Bahira Mong. This was given to me by Dina. Um, and then a monograph about Lansing Bangdelji, which Bangdelji himself gave to me. I'm, I just think it's important to just show these because, you know, these books need to be in, in our library as well. And Stolen Images of Nepal, which has played such an important role in bringing our in the repatriation of stolen idols. I also would like to show you the monograph that Dina put together with Don Mesher Smith against the current on Lansing Bangdel. This beautiful book that she co-edited, Pilgrimage and Faith. And I think her last book, Embodiment of Enlightenment, which we, all of us here, I think, came to this exquisite exhibition. Just to give the audience an idea. May I ask you to introduce yourself, Bivakaji, to the audience? We would like to learn about you and something about your professional background. Oh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Sangeeta Ji and all the whole team of Mobile Library for giving me this fantastic opportunity in terms of what I'm doing uh, for uh, to continue the legacy of my father-in-law and my wife Dina, Dina Bangdel. So, just to, I think before I start on, you know, what I'm doing uh, in terms of art and art yeah. related projects, I want to give you a little bit background about myself, you know. I'm not an artist uh, or art historian, you know. I'm actually a PhD economist. <clears throat> I came from very humble background. My dad actually hails from Baglung, which is like, uh, you know, 70 kilometers west of Pokhara. Uh, it used to be a very remote uh, village. So he came to Kathmandu to you know study, and uh, he got his education here in Kathmandu, and then met my met my mother, and mother also comes from very celebrated family. Her my grandfather from my mom's side is a compounder Sundarman Saizu, who is a royal physician of Tribhuvan, and he was a very good friend of Ganesh Man Singh, uh, Iron Man leader. So. Uh, so this is, you know, how, you know, the, everything, you know, evolves around. Actually, my dad come, came from Bagalur to Kathmandu and met my mother in, 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 in you know, in Kathmandu. So I went uh, from uh, uh, Nepal to U.S. Uh, to pursue my uh, PhD in, uh, as a full body scholar. And then there I met my wife, Dina. So it's like, you know, all the, you know, how, you know, things revolve around. Uh, so I, you know, uh, uh, I did my PhD from uh, Ohio State University, where Dina also received her PhD in art history, and I received mine in uh, uh, agricultural economics, which is more like focusing on environmental science, environmental resource economics. So with that, I think that's basically, and I'm an economist. I have done a lot of projects working for the last 25 years in different countries, like you know Qatar, US, you know Philippines, uh, you know Nepal, also, of course. And uh, I currently, I finished one project in Rwanda. So that's my professional background, actually. Uh, but then uh, having said that, I'm also very much interested you know, in art uh, from the very early beginning of my life also. So, uh, but I mean, I'll continue to talk about that later. What truly inspired you to take on the art literature related projects, though you are professionally a PhD economist? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I basically, you know, my childhood was very interesting. My dad was educator, so you know, he was a passion in education. So I grew up in, you know, the house full of book. It's a mini library. My house was a mini library, so I, you know, I was, you know, reading a lot of books uh, in, in my high school days. Uh, then I, you know, actually at that point, I learned, I read uh, most of, you know, uh, Sir Lansing Bangdel's book, you know, novels. And at that point in time, I thought, you know. Um, uh, Bangdel, you know, was a, a, a writer, you know, I mean, that's all I knew during that time. Uh, then later I joined the art uh, class in high school and then, you know, then I found that he was not only a writer, he was an art historian and also, you know, an artist, fantastic artist, also known as, you know, I mean, father of modern art in Nepal. So I was exposed to that little bit, you know, I mean, in my high school and college days. But later when I met uh, Dina, in 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 uh, Columbus, Ohio, then my you know art my my you know my in, you know interest in art you know, started to you know you know came back again because she came from you know of course you know the, the Bangdel family and she was studying art history so we started going to museum together collaborate in different I started to help and support in her different project and I learned more about actually uh, Sir Bangdel uh, once I you know uh, get to know Dina. And both Dina and, and, and uh, uh, Sir Bangbel, they had an immense love for our country, uh, a love for our you know, art and art history. Both of them, they wanted to present a Nepali art and uh, culture to the world uh, because our Nepali artists are so deserving, so talented. It's just a matter of giving them you know, the platform. Uh, and that Dina, Lansing Singh Bangbel did, did it. Uh, you know, she started training you know, his students. And Dina, you know, carry on on that, and she started introducing artists to India, and you know, even most recently in Vienna. So those are the things they have been doing, and I, I became very close to art and art community uh, in Nepal. Uh, so I was, you know, working on background basically, but I was very much involved in most of Dina's project, and I was inspired by you know, you know all the artists and art community of Nepal. Uh, so then uh, when you know. So Bangdel left and Dina also timely on uh, passed away on on time, untimely. Yeah. Uh, so then I thought, you know, uh, mm -hmm. then everything came on my shoulder. You know, I, some, it was overwhelming at the point. You know, okay, how can I, you know, go on doing all these things uh, because I'm not an artist, not an art historian. <laughs> but then I realized, okay, I have to do it. I feel like now, I, I, you know, it's my privilege privilege to do this. To shed some light on what uh, both you know Sir Bangdel and Dina has achieved in their uh, you know uh, lifetime. Okay, so what do you have in let's say Lain Singh Bangdelji and Dina's collection now, and what are your plans to preserve or archive them in the future? So for, yeah, since this is a library, you know, uh, uh, some, I think I will start with books. You know, uh, I have a, a fantastic collection of uh, Sir Bangdel's uh, book collection. He started collecting books from early 40s. So I have books um, like, you know, some of the self. I think I share some picture with Mahima. Uh, you know, some you know, old books from early 40s, 50s, 60s uh, to, you know, uh, to, you know, late, you know, uh, uh, 90s that he started collecting. Then I do also have a collection of books uh, uh, from Dina, Dina being art historian and scholar, you know, she collected books of all genre, art, culture, uh, and uh, yeah, so between uh, uh, Dina's father and Dina, I have over 100 years of collection of books in uh, primarily in art and art historian, uh, art history, but also, you know, in all genre, all genre, you know, you talk about literature, in Nepali literature, English literature, uh, so everything and the book section. Um, then I also have uh, uh, photographs, as you just showed, you know, before, Sangeeta, like, you know, stolen images, early sculpture, both books by Lansing Bangdel. What he did was when he came back to uh, Nepal in the early 60s, he went to different temples and, and monasteries all around Kathmandu and photographed, the, uh, documented the, 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 you know, the sites. Mm. So I have all those photographs, slides. Uh, and then when Dina did her PhD, she came and started to you know, photograph for her you know, PhD uh, uh, Buddhist studies. 
in all bahals you know talk about bahals in kathmandu bhaktapur and lalitpur i have all the images that dina documented uh, so meticulously uh, first of the first you know in the first one is she started it was on the the, the slides and later you know in the later then we have the digitized you know a cam a digital camera so all we have a, i have i think i would say maybe about 100 boxes of slides in in richmond and over here uh maybe boxes and boxes of you know photographs and negatives and slides uh in addition to photographs and and slides i also have you know the letters that they, that communicated between lines in bangladesh and you know uh bp koirala ganesh man and all these uh, uh leaders and 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 politicians of nepal and then i have diaries and then we have uh, definitely as being you know bangladeshi uh, being a painter so i have a, a collection of his paintings over here uh, just to give us an idea how many paintings are in the in the archive right now i would i have documented uh, about uh, i would say about 500 and uh we hope that you will unite the collection that's in america with the collection that's in nepal so it all sits yeah. in one so i'll talk about the art book later but you know i have started documenting uh document excuse it, okay yeah the uh in the process of you know uh, collecting art books uh, um you know uh, he's painting for the art books i have documented you know i, I collected you know uh all the paintings uh, from all around the world so we have uh, i have uh, in my digital art library about 700 uh, uh uh paintings that is uh, uh you know documented uh, with with the uh, you know all the details of the, about the painting so the paintings are in in a fukuoka museum in japan to many sites in private collection in america two places in europe uh, and also private collection in kathmandu and some museums uh, uh you know Uh, around the world okay what are your current projects and how are you planning to ac accomplish them so i'm working on a few uh, projects right now that i think let me start with the art book um uh, that's uh, that's what the the, the 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 painting that i'm you know documenting is for the art book the gallery section of the art book the art book is basically you know is for the uh, lancing bangal to your lives as a painter and uh, we we talk about him you know he had you no know, as you mentioned before he is not only painter but he was you know a writer and art historian and all those things but this book is primarily focusing on his uh, uh, him as a as an artist or a painter so we talk about him uh, about that and his you know what he has achieved in his you know uh, uh, 50 years of his you know artist uh, uh, productive life and then we have also section uh, in the book about his wife uh, manu bangdel who was instrumental uh, uh, in supporting him to pursue his career because you know when he was a struggling artist in paris uh, manus you know his wife supported him even when he came back to nepal in early 60s uh, you know his wife was the one who got a job a first job at a maternity hospital he was jobless for 3 4 months uh, so basically you know in early stages of his life uh his wife was supporting him financially mentally in all aspects to become so without her he wouldn't have been the artist that he, so you know he became later in his life so her contribution uh is immensely immensely significant and important so that has been you know, we have a section of, uh, on the book about her and of course then we have one section uh, on on dina also because dina was although he was she was art historian by profession and specializing in himalayan art but did see later you know in, in starting from uh, 2010 or 2009 uh, she started actually in early 2000 actually she started working very closely with the uh, art communities and try to you know promote nepali artists in both you know contemporary and traditional art bawa art uh, she she you know work with them very very closely so the her contribution is also uh, very important and that will be highlighted in the book the last section of the book will be of course uh, you know uh, lancing bangwells uh, 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 a gallery of his painting so we are organizing his painting in, in you know chronologically from early four, uh, 40s to 50s when he was in india then 50s to 60s when he was in paris and 60s to 70 when he was in i mean in nepal 
Then he went back to U.S. for a few years as a Fulbright scholar in Denison University. So we have a few years of, you know, of his painting when he was in U.S. Then, you know, then we have, you know, paintings from uh, 80s to 90s and 90s to, you know, 2000. So, and then within the chronological order, we have organized in, in different, you know, genre. You know, we have started with, you know, uh, still life, landscape, abstract, you know, portrait, all those things will be uh, categorized uh, on the gallery. So this will be the first book. I know you have a small book, like, you know, the uh, 50 years of art. It has yes. about uh, 50 paintings, yeah, uh, 50, 50 of his paintings in that book, but this will have about 250 to 300 of his paintings mm -hmm. highlighted, you know, you know, it's more like an international uh, quality of art catalog. Our book catalog. So that's the, that's my plan to do that. Uh, and so the second project I'm working is, you know, I'm translating uh, his, his novels. Uh, I have started with you know, Langada Kasati, and at, I have completed the, uh, the English version of, of that book, and it's going to the press, you know, later this month. And after that, you know, we'll 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 continue with other 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 uh, publication which is, which needs to be translated in English. And um, uh, another exciting project uh, uh, I'm also doing, okay, before that movie, I want to talk about, you know, it, the, the Longer Longaraga Society has been also, uh, is now available on audio version. Um, our, our BBC fame, Amro Khagendra Nepali, has, yes. has, uh, uh, um, has narrated uh, the audio uh, book of uh, Longer Longaraga Society. And the final project I'm also working right now, I'm planning to, you know, accomplish that also is, the, uh, I'm producing a movie based on Langarakasati. And that is also in the final stage. It's uh, supposed to be out this year, but because of, as you know, COVID, everything is delayed. All my project has been delayed. Uh, so hopefully by the end of this year or early next year, uh, these you know, books and, and, and movie will be out and the art book will be out sometime in 2020. A lot of work. A lot um, of work. Lot of work. Um, who do you reach out to do reference and fact checking? So primarily, you know, I look into publications, books, articles, magazines, and, and uh, there are a lot of books that Dina has written, a uh, lot of, you know, uh, what a catalog that uh, Lance and Bengal has uh, finally, you know, maintained at home. But in addition to that, then I, you know, reached out to friends uh, and, and, and relatives uh, just to, you know, sometimes, you know, I reach out to actually Facebook community also just to identify some of the images portrait that, you know, uh, that I could not, you know, identify. And, you know, it was uh, very helpful. I think I could have identified at least five, six of the portraits with the help of, you know, my Facebook friends. So, you know, I'm taking help from everybody who is, you know, who will be able to help me. Now, and then, of course, you know, I have professional, you know, uh, professors, university professors, uh, uh, writers, uh, and uh, and I think also in this uh, journey, which is not my professional line, I've been blessed to know so many amazing people, you know, writers like Abhi Subedeji, I got connected with Abhi Subedeji, uh, Kanak Dai, uh, and, you know, also in US, I've been, you know, very, I mean, meeting with, you know, very, very old friend of, you know, uh, Lansing Bangbelju uh, in, in Europe, uh, in Japan. So, you know, I saw all, you know, uh, amazing to see how many you know uh, people's life both Dina and Sir Bangwell has touched and everybody is so excited to hear this you know I'm doing uh, to continue the legacy and they, they, everybody thinks okay this is must project and you know Bivakar you know I mean, David is Bivakar you are doing fantastic so please continue uh, to do this and they will you know most of them have you know, full-heartedly support my effort in many many ways and without them uh, of course this won't have been uh, uh, possible and for my art book actually Don Mrs. Smith who wrote that against the card and her uh, his uh, daughter uh, Liesl uh, they have been man is uh, to help me out uh, to carry out this project and there's so many other people I mean I can just go on and on but, but there are you know, uh, people helping me out uh, for this uh, uh, important project. Uh, Sangeeta, I think you're, uh, you're mute. You had mentioned to me that you are in touch with the Tate and Rubin Museum. Can you give us some insight into the projects you are collaborating with them on? 
Yes. Um, yeah, I've been uh, reached out by I've been reached uh, by you know many organizations and and uh, DGNs uh, in the process, and it has been very very you know uh, uh, exciting actually for me. Uh, so I'm actually collaborating with uh, one of the curator at Tate Museum, and we are writing a, a journal article on Sir Lance in Bangville. And they're also interested, actually, in terms, you know, not the look. They are interested in, you know, contemporary artists of South Asia in general and Nepal in particular. So, so it's going to be a very exciting project with Tate Museum, and with the Ruben Museum, uh, they are actually. Uh, uh, undertaking a monumental project on Himalayan art. And Himalayan art was actually Vina's main, actually, a, a field of study. She devoted almost you know, all her professional life to do research on Himalayan art, uh, and, and, you know, also called Buddhist art. Uh, so because that was her, her, her main uh, field of study or research, and, um, you know, most of her, her, her writings and her uh, publication will be used for that project. So I'm actually helping them, uh, supporting the uh, project in honor of Dina uh, in that project. So, and, and uh, another thing I also want to mention that in the urban media also, you know, traditionally they are actually looking into, you know, uh, uh, power art and sankas painting, but they also want to now, you know, expand their collection in contemporary art as well. So they are, they, you know, so I'm also, you know, working too closely together on that. And in addition to that, I'm also working very closely with uh, the Virginia uh, Museum, you know, Virginia Commonwealth uh, uh, um, University, uh, VCU. Uh, so that Dina was faculty there, but I'm closely working with the president of the university and also dean of the art school to collaborate in art and literature related project uh, to honor Dina actually with the university. Dina may have several unpublished articles and conference papers. Uh, do you have any plans to publish them or make them public? Yes, I do. Dina has about, you know, I think uh, maybe 10, 12 uh, uh, hard drives. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a matter of, you know, locating them. And she has many unpublished uh, articles. Mm, uh, she has presented paper in conference and seminar internationally all over the world. So I'm actually working together with her, uh, her, her uh, uh, previously student, but now they are professors. So I'm working with a few of my her colleagues now. We can, we can say that you know to find out you know how we can uh, work you know catalog them and what which can be published, which can be documented. Uh, and so that work supposed to be started also last year because of COVID, I think that's delayed also. So we'll start that project sometime in 2022. And in addition to, you know, uh, her, uh, her whatever she has done, but I'm also reaching out to universities uh, where she has presented lectures and, 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 and seminars. So uh, some of them are in, in videos and YouTube, I mean, video format. Are, 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 so the, those, those will be also collected and documented. Uh, what are your plans or projects to help continue the legacies of Dina and Sri Bangdelji in the future? In here. Can you what are your plans? Uh, what are your plans or projects to help continue the legacy of Dina and Lain Singh Bangdelji in the future? Hello. Hello, can you hear us? I think us? we missed uh, Sangeeta. What are your, can you hear me now? Hello. I think I heard she saying, what are my future projects uh, to continue the legacy? Uh, I think I'll continue. You will continue. Because, you know, it's getting uh, almost uh, Are we stuck? I think Vivakurji is, yeah, his connection got lost. Hmm. Can I, I'll try to contact him quickly. Vivakurji, are you there? 
Yes, I'm here. I didn't hear your last. Time. Yeah. Just... So my question Sorry. is, uh, you know, you basically there's so much of the raw raw data to be mined, right? But what are your plans or projects yes. to help continue the legacies of Dina and Lansing Bangladesh in the future? So yeah. I think basically, you know, preserving the uh, preserving and I think archiving all those photographs, slides, as I mentioned, you know, that's that's gonna be a huge project uh, that will include, as I mentioned, letters and diaries and uh, even you know, cataloging the books for the library. Like, you know, there are those are the things that I have definitely uh, has have planned to do that in the very near future. Uh, but uh, the other projects, you know, uh, that I have been uh, planning to do is again, as I mentioned, the translation project uh, of uh, remaining of his two novels, and I've, I'm also planning to start uh, uh, translating his one of the uh, Lansing Bangladesh's last publication on um, you know, King uh, Jaya Burma. Uh, so that is a more like an art history related book, uh, but it's a very, uh, very, very important contribution uh, in, in in Nepali art history. Uh, so I'll start that also 2022, and then uh, as I mentioned, you know, publish uh, Dina's unpublished articles and papers, uh, conference papers and stuff like that. Those will be continued, you know, you start also in 2022. And finally, I think, uh, 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 you know, we are uh, we are in the planning phase of you know uh, establishing uh, Lansing Bangladesh uh, a museum or gallery in Kathmandu. So that you know, public can uh, see and visit his you know artwork, uh, uh, which is not yet publicly available. So that's that's the whole. Like, and as I you know, his you know, uh, both you know, Dina and and Sir Bangdels, their wish was you know, people should uh, be have uh, should have access to his work, uh, both you know, literary and art um, paintings, art history books, so that the future generation of artists. Uh, as you mentioned, you know, uh, students, scholar, uh, they can learn and and build. Um, Mahima? Arjun, I think we lost him again. Okay. Because of the connection. We we are now at the end of the the um, you know the the moderating section. Mm -hmm. uh, when Vivakriji gets his connection back up, we can take questions. Sure. So, Vivakriji. Uh, perhaps uh, as we wait, some questions. Ah, we have you back. Okay, so we uh, reached the end of the moderating section, um, and uh, you know we see there's so much work. You have so much work ahead of you. Um, you know, it's quite uh, some daunting, um, and I know that many artists, you know, leave behind vast bodies of work that their children and grandchildren don't know how to manage. Yep. So right. in, in uh, Sashi Shah's grandson is archiving his grandfather's work. Um, the way right. you you uh, organize the Bangdel archive will be um, an example how other artists could also follow suit. So we look forward to, to your work uh, and assisting you wherever we can. But now we would like to open the floor to questions. Thank you, Vivakaji. Thank you, Sangeeta. Again, this is fantastic. I'm glad I could share my, you know, the projects and passion and giving, again, thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I welcome any questions or any comments that I love to share. Thank you, Bipa Perji. Um, now with this, we actually finish our first session, which is a conversation with Dr. Bibakar Shakirji. Uh, now we're at second uh, section, which is a question answer section. So anyone um, with question can come and talk with Bibakarji. Now I can see one hand raised by Sir Rose. 
Um, yeah, maybe you can unmute yourself and ask question directly. Okay, thank you. Hello, namaste everyone. <laughs> it's very good to see you all um, in the middle of this great pandemic and we're having something very product productive and this is great hearing this conversation. Thank you very much. Uh, listening to your very ambitious and a lot of workful projects and plans. I had a question, I was just curious uh, to do all these things. Of course, it requires a lot of, you know, um, effort, uh, money, um, yeah, manpower and, and all. So I was just wondering how kind of, you know, uh, thinking in a way like to establish all these things you're talking about museum, gallery, you're producing films, translating books. So how it's going to take shape, like what sort of resources you have? Are you also thinking in a way that how you could kind of uh, raise fund? Because uh, it's not about just him uh, as a person, but it's, uh, I think it's, it's about the whole uh, art scene of Nepal. Sure. Um, so I was just curious, what's your sort of plan to kind of execute these ideas? Oh. If you can explore. Say, Fantastic so. question. Yeah, this is Thank a you. very good question. Thank you, uh, Sarojji. Um, no, I think I'm taking it as a baby step, you know, one step at a time. As I said, it can be overwhelming uh, uh, to do so many things at the same time. Uh, but uh, right now I'm using my own resources uh, to fund my projects, uh, but in the future, as you mentioned, it's not possible. Uh, so definitely I have, I have, you know, some plans to, you know, uh, open up the foundation and maybe help with the seek, you know, uh, outside funding. Now that will be done in the due time when it is needed. But right now I think I'm focusing, you know, primarily in few projects, very focused on art book and, and uh, the translation and the movie project. So once I accomplish that, then you know I will I'll, I'll see you know what are next projects and how I want to move forward on that. Uh, but then again, you know, I have to tell you, you know, this is uh, it can be overwhelming. It can be very very difficult. But my suggestion, whoever wants to start this kind of project, is you know for other people, is you know just you know prioritize and take a baby step, one step at a time. Uh, to tell you the truth, you know I, I you know I did my PhD as a mentor in. Uh, Economics, but I never, never worked so hard uh, in my entire life. You know, I say like, you know, oh my God, this is you know looking like a, a you know the, the needle in the haystack. You know, when you're looking at you know trying to find some information. Uh, so I mean, it's so can be overwhelming. But then again, we have fantastic friends and artist committee, and you know things that are helping me out as I said. So this has been a very exciting and, and, and a wonderful journey as well. Thank you. Um, thank you. We have one question from um, Mona, Museum of Nepali Art, and um, she said, uh, since you said you have segregated the Lansing Bangdels collection according to years, so which period do you think uh, Bangdel has produced his best work? Whoa, that is, uh, that is uh, very, very <laughs> Just a question. No, I mean, I mean, you what I mean, what I will tell you, I mean, it's very is there an apple and oranges, you know. I mean, you cannot, you know, compare, you know, when he's early 40s, you know, he was doing uh watercolor and some still life, and then he goes to Paris and he's you know, he was his uh, you know, uh, arts was very much influenced by blue period, Picasso period. You see a lot of you know cube style. Uh, blue style uh, uh, paintings uh, in both figurative and landscape. And when he comes back, when he returned to Nepal, then he was mesmerized by the beauty of Nepal. So he started painting mountains, you know, Pistil, Mount Everest, Amatabla, you talk about it, and a lot of villages in landscape. He was, he was doing that. So those, you know, those are the how he progressed with you know, as he moved on with his artist life. And then later in, you know, late 60s and early 70s, he find himself, you know, very confined with this kind of, you know, uh, still life portrait or landscape. 
He could not fully express himself. That's why he started. Then when he started at last, I can hit. Uh-oh. Internet. Are those the two questions? Mahima? Yeah, there is one more question actually. I have a question too. Vivakarji, you're on mute. Yeah, okay. okay. Sorry. Uh, just to, you know, uh, no, uh, so, uh, no, <clears throat> all those uh, progression was very different in each uh, uh, decades of his artist life, but I think you can see how he progressed, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, but, you know, it's very difficult to choose. On. But uh, what I can say is, you know, he was very productive in, you know, the 60s and 70s. But, you know, once he started working with the Royal Nepal Academy, you know, became vice chancellor and chancellor, he became very busy. So, you know, you see, He's, you know, he, he was spending less and less um, in later when he was very much busy with his administrative work at uh, academy, Nepal Academy. So you can see, you know, uh, when he was writing, you know, novels, he was not painting. He's, uh, when he's teaching, you know, in universities, he's not writing. He was working, when he's uh, working on the, you know, stolen image and all his sculpture, art history book, he is not painting. So you can see, you know, when he's painting and when he's uh, painting and so the, the, that's how this is very important to you know present him chronologically and you see when these paintings uh, are less then he's definitely working on different uh, 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 projects uh, which is which can be artistry you can be writing other books and stuff like that so but you know all his paintings are you know very very impressive and, and, and for me thank you thank you Shadari, you wanted to ask one question, but before that, there is another question from the chat. Um, it's Jenny, sir, asking, is there any fake Lang Sing Bangdil work in the market? Yeah, I heard there is. There's fake paintings of most, you know, you know I, I heard there's a fake paintings uh, available for, you know, not only Lens in Bangladesh, but also lots from Tresta and uh, some other artists also. And uh, when you look at the global level, I am sure you have heard like China is uh, uh, making fake parts of all the masterpieces of, you know, Tango, money, money, and all those things. I think yeah. they recently found out. I think the fake art is, I think also it can be taken as uh, flattery. You know, I mean, people are actually trying to imitate. It. But then um, it can be also, you know, nonsense because, you know, they're they are actually cheating the, the customer who love to have, you know, Bangladesh art. So I would caution, you know, the purchaser or buyer who want to buy Bangladesh art to miss, basically verify whether it is, you know, authentic or not. And there are so many ways to verify. And we have artist community. We have, you know, uh, so many people who knows his art. Uh, so I please, please, I, I think I would, this is very important question. I think, you know, you, people who wants to buy Bangal art should definitely verify whether it is authentic or fake before they put so much money on that uh, painting. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I ask, Why not? Sure, please go ahead. Um, so thank you so much for, for sharing so much of, of the work that you're putting into this. Um, and it, it's such a treat to see both of you together. I think that both uh, Sangitadi has also been so uh, active in the, in the art world here and has an important role. So it's nice to see these, the works that you're doing along with her as well um, on the screen. But I wanted to ask you uh, to sort of think, when we're thinking about Lain um, Singh Bangdil as a scholar um, and the kind of research he was doing and the kind of reading he was doing, because he, I'm, I'm sure that his library is um, probably a collection of a lot of people's works and including his own and, and things that were happening at that time. And in terms of also, um, you know, then later on when Dina Ji sort of continuing that process of being a scholar uh, in the art world. And I just wanted to know sort of 
a little bit about how the library was organized when Dina G sort of started taking over? Um, you know, did she get a chance to really go through the books and sort of any any kind of reflections on the kind of um, yeah their work as scholars? Well, it's wide wide range of books, as I mentioned. You know, Nepali literature, English literature, uh, art book, lots of art book. Uh, one, I think, important, uh, my prize, I think, collection now, I think, is a uh, 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 art catalog of Picasso. I think when uh, Sir Bangdel was in Paris, he went to uh, Picasso's art exhibition, and he has this uh, catalog signed by Picasso, I, I think. So that's, that's, you know, that's kind of, you know, a collection I have, I think, you know, and then there are a lot of, you know, uh, him being an artist, so we have book from, you name it, all the, you know, world renowned artists, Monet, Mane, Bango, many books of Picasso. Uh, he met Picasso in per person in Paris, as I mentioned, in, 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 uh, in the process of going to his exhibition. Uh, so then later, uh, I, you know, I, uh, when he start, became, he started, you know, he, when he came back to Nepal, and 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 you know, start documenting all these you know uh, temples and monasteries. Then he became very much interested in art history. So we have a lot of art history book also here. And I think that's how Dina got inspired. You know, she was going to do English literature or French as a second language. Then you know because of you know she used to go with her dad in all these places. You know, as a little girl, uh, when her dad was taking pictures and she was just accompanying him. So it's just like you know comes naturally, you know, I mean, as I mentioned, you know, the, the Dina, I mean, grew up with canvases and, and, and paints uh, during her childhood. That's why I think she's very much close to art community, artists, uh, she loves artists, she likes to promote artists because she has seen how her father struggled in the beginning. Uh, so those all things are, I think, you know, comes together, but I think you're talking, you know, in, 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 when in US, I would have to tell you something very interesting, you know, between Dina and me, we have, you know, most people, they have a lot of stuff, furniture, this and that. But between me and Dina, we have like 100 boxes of books and stuff like that. So when we, as you know, you move from one city to other city or one place to other place. Oh, my God. That moving was a huge, huge, like just carrying boxes and boxes of books. I remember I moved, you know, a few times in the U.S. And I just remember carrying nothing else but books, you know. So I have, um, uh, I would say, maybe, you know, at least 60, 70 boxes of books in US. Uh, so I don't know how I'm gonna uh, bring that to Nepal or how I'm gonna use that. But you know, I think that we have to start from Nepal itself, you know, because we have, some of these books are, are, I think, very, very precious and not available anymore in print. So uh, that's why I think, as Sangeeta mentioned, you know, it's very important to actually find those books, find, you know, you know identify those books and maybe digitize those books and archive it. That will be a very, very important and monumental project for you know, for our future generation. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, Mahima, back to you. I think that you probably have, uh, did you want to end at five? Is that what it was? Yes, know. we're planning to finish our program at five, but we have two more questions. Actually, uh, one is um, referring to the previous question. Um, of fake art and Jenisa is again adding on top like how do we verify genuine or fake Bangdale's work? Oh that is a very good question again but I think uh, you know they I mean now I mean you can do carbon dating if somebody said you no know, Bangdale's art of like 60s then you can carbon date and see whether that painting was actually done in 60s or not that's one way uh, that can be an expensive way to verify whether, you know, uh, if, if the painting has dates, you know. Otherwise, you know, then, you know, uh, now I think, you know, there are so many artists, even Sangeeta, you know, is one of the expert in arts. He has been so many artists. He worked very closely with Dina uh, before, yeah. So let, let me come back to later, but no, uh, yeah. So then, then find, you know, artists, you know, Lansing Bank will have many, you know, art students, they, he worked closely with many, many artists who knows his style, his uh, coloring, his, you know, uh, palette, you know, combination of colors. So you can, you can check with the artist community, those who knows. Uh, yeah, the uh, the new art circle. New art circle and, and like, I think even, yeah, so many others. Even he and his, you know, uh, company. So yeah, I mean, those are the, you know, those are the people I will start with, you know, 
now I mean I can also help because now I have seen like most of his work I can say during this you know uh, cataloging process so I can also I think tell a little bit you know but I'm not the expert again I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't tell myself as an art expert mm -hmm. um, but I can say you know if something is you know missing or something is you know very unique or not so then you know I think that I think that's the only word but the carbon dating is the the, the way that you can actually uh, find out whether the art is fake or new, if it has the date. So if it doesn't have the date, then you know this it's not possible. Mm -hmm. So Gita, you may have some suggestion for that. Mm, I would love to look at the work, and uh, I would carbon dating would not be possible maybe in in Kathmandu. Yes. Uh, unless the 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 owner of the painting wants to send their works abroad. Maybe yeah. even to USA or Vienna or somewhere I think where they Singapore, can do. Singapore has the carbon dating thing, but I think the you know it's very costly. I mean the process is you know I mean take the mm -hmm. whole painting there, freight, come back. Oh my God, this will be I think uh, you can buy another painting actually rather than the carbon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, another question. Yeah, we have one last question for today. We have uh, two more minutes left, so we'll. We're going to take this one last question from Rajat. Uh, yeah, before I take the uh, last question, I, I want to mention, you know, uh, Sangeeta and Dina work very closely in many, many projects. And their Dina's last project being Kathmandu Trinale in 2017. So I want to acknowledge that. Uh, and you know, um, Sangeeta has been fantastic. Even some, some of the, you know, uh, our catalog and, and projects, exhibitions, they work very closely together. Uh, Joels of Nepal, Nevar Art, I can think and remember that one, but there are so many other yeah. projects. They work together, and um, again, I said you know, 2017 was being the last one that Dina and, and Sangeeta worked together. And I also want to mention Sangeeta help is helping me uh, 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 in the art book. She has contributed uh, uh, in the uh, Lansing Bangladesh section also. Thank you for that, uh, Sangeeta. Before I forget, I want to. It was my honor. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, the last question is um, from Rajani, and she's asking whether the books from. Um, Lansing Bangdil is still available in the market, and uh, the one that you have digitized, the digital archive. Um, I think uh, the digital archive. I think uh, her she's referring to how can we get access to those archives. So she uh, what? Can you hear? Yes. There's a background noise. Anyway. Uh, most of these uh, uh, Bangbills, you know, Nepali literature books are, are available in Dr. Pista Kandar in, you know, uh, bookshop. And his Jaya Burma book uh, is art history book that is available in Mandala, I think, in um, Mandala bookshop. Um, and, you know, there is also Bajra book and, you know, lots of Dina's art history book are, uh, uh, books are available in Bajra, Mandala, and, 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 uh, those bookshops, and I think there are also a couple other books. I, I'm not remembering the name. Most of them are available. Against the current is also available. Uh, it's amazing.com. Uh, and uh, I think locally it's also available in, in Bajra book. Um, so there are, you know, most of the book is available there. I think the only book that is out of print now, I think Dina's monumental book on, on Buddhist art, which is, you know, exhibition catalog is Circle of Peace. Yeah. That is uh, now out of print. Uh, we would love to have um, a copy of that, even if Yeah, I would like to, I'm actually working on that to have the publication, you know, right? Because uh, I'm, you know, the, the co-editor of the book was Dina's uh, advisor, John Huntington. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm reaching out to John and Susan Huntington to see if they will have, give us permission to publish that book, at least for Nepali market. Uh, so I can um, definitely want to publish that book also if, you know, I get the proper permission because the, the publisher who published that book, Sir India, I think, Sir India, I think um, they are out of business. So they don't, uh, they don't, you know, they're not in business anymore. So it's just, you know, it's, that makes our job very difficult. Uh, but, you yeah. know, we're still working on that and hopefully it will be, you know, uh, published soon. And in terms of digital art uh, library, I'm uh, I, I'm focusing on the art book first. The, once the book is out, and I have planned to you know maybe have uh, you know Bangdel you know website, and some of these you know artwork will be featured in the website. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Biba Shakiji. The the whole conversation has been really fruitful for us. Um, so with this note, I'd like to end our session for today. 
And um, before we leave, I'd like to announce our next session of What's in the Artist Library, which will be later this month with Deepmala, conversation with Rajman Maharjan. Rajman Maharjan is with us today in the audience. So he has contributed to the Nepali art scene through his publication of Canvas more than two decades and still continuing to do so through his publication called Taleju. So we're going to explore his um, library in next session. So I hope you all will be with us. Um, so thank you all.